Hello guys, Charles here and welcome back to my channel. So I've been going back to Pentatonix recently and just trying to learn them better. You know, you can never know your Pentatonix too well. And in particular, after watching the In The Funk Zone DVD with Garzone, I've been dealing with ways of manipulating Pentatonix and blending them together in different ways. So I wanna show you an exercise which I've been doing quite recently. I've been finding it quite helpful, especially for visualizing on the guitar. It's also great for coming up with vocabulary using superimposed pentatonics. So as always, when we're talking about anything superimposition based, we'll just start with the tritone substitution so that most of you have got a kind of foot in here. So what we're really gonna do here is play different numbers of notes from the original pentatonic and the superimposed pentatonic and we come up with some interesting patterns. So let's start with C minor pentatonic here on the eighth fret, and I'm just gonna do this one in what I call first position. It's basically like the E minor shape of the pentatonic. I'm sure you're all familiar with that. Now the tritone of C is F sharp. In case you're not sure, on a tritone, it means three tones up. So C to D is one tone, D to E, two tones, E to F sharp, three tones. So that's the tritone. So we've got C minor and F sharp minor. Now in this same position, F sharp minor lives here on the ninth fret of the A string. There's our F sharp. And it gives us the A minor shape of the F sharp minor pentatonic. So starting on that ninth fret, we get this shape. And if you want, you can add the F sharp on the top. So we're there. So we're just basically trying to work on blending those two positions together in a way that might come up with some interesting sounds, but primarily just as a visualization device here so that when we're in this position, we can more efficiently move to that position. And again, we happen to be talking about the tritone today, but you could do this with just semitone shifts or you could do it with minor third shifts or whatever. You just find where the two pentatonics live close to one another. So for this video, let's start with groups of two. So I'm gonna play two notes from C minor pentatonic then two notes from F sharp minor pentatonic, C minor, F sharp, C minor, F sharp. So I'm gonna do this descending because we like to do that as a guitarist, but of course you wanna work on this ascending as well. So I'm gonna start here with the E flat and the C from the C minor. Now I've done my two notes from C minor, so I'm gonna do my two notes from F sharp minor. Now I've got the option here, I've just finished on C, I can either go back up to C sharp and do my two groups as if the, the first note was descending. So my first note was an E flat, so I'd now go down to a C sharp, or I could carry on downwards after my C. So I've just got an E flat C, I could then go down to B and A. But I'm gonna take that first version, so I'm gonna go E flat C, C sharp B, C B flat, B A, B flat G, A F sharp, G F, F sharp E, F E flat, E C sharp, E flat C, C sharp B, C B flat, and I'll stop there. So you can see how important it is to really know your note names here and really know where you are on the neck. Uh, it's, it's a great exercise as well to actually say this as you play it. Now without me talking, let's just hear what that sounds like. Two from C minor, two from F sharp. That's what it sounds. So it gives us this really slippery sound here, and all we're doing there is playing two notes from one, two notes from the other. So next up, of course, would be three notes from one, three notes from the other. So this time I'll be going E flat C B flat, C sharp B A, C B flat G, B A F sharp, B flat G F, A F sharp E, G F E flat. F sharp, E, C sharp, F, E flat, C, E, C sharp, B, E flat, C, B flat. And then, I don't know how I'm gonna get back to C there, but something, I'll, I'll figure something out. So that would sound like this. sort of idea. So again, a very slidey sound. I like that one because if you do it in eighth notes, then you 
get displaced so you're really like one and a half beats from each the superimposition keeps uh, getting displaced rhythmically so next would be groups of four so e flat c b flat g c sharp b a f sharp c b flat g f b a f sharp e and so on and so forth easier to play it than it is to say it but it's important that we can do that so groups of four sounds like this. Something like that. And then finally, let's go back. Um, we're going to start with one note from each, which is basically just the superimposition exercise we've been doing in the last few videos. If you haven't seen that, you can have a little look up here. And what that gives us if we superimpose pentatonic scales, a tritone apart, is actually Messian mode six. I think it's mode six. Don't quote me on that, though. Um, but it's this scale here. So we, if I start on that E flat, we've got E flat from C minor, C sharp from F sharp, C from C, B from F sharp, B flat from C, A from F sharp, and so on and so forth. So those notes give us this. Which is, of course, a very dense sound there. That's a 10 note scale. We've got two pentatonics, two groups of five notes stacked on top of each other. So there's an awful lot we can do with that. But because it's so dense, that's why I left it till last here, because it's basically just a list of notes, whereas what we've been doing before keeps us organised in groups, which is kind of a bit more helpful in terms of actually designing vocabulary. So do dip your toe into the scale, but it's generally easier, I think, if you try and think I'm in C now, now I'm in F sharp, or whatever your superimpositions are. So I hope you find that exercise as useful as I've been finding it recently. It's just a great way to come up with some interesting lines, especially on funk jams. Like I said, this was inspired by some of the stuff in the in the Funk Zone DVD by George Garzone, uh, where he's primarily talking about playing over one chord vamps, but you could use this anywhere where you're using a pentatonic, of course, and just start to try and flirt with these ideas in your playing. Uh, obviously, playing the whole pattern like that is going to be overkill, but maybe just a couple of cells here and there would be a good place to start uh, whilst you build your confidence. So if you did find that one useful, please do give it a like, subscribe, ding that notification bell, and share with any of your friends who you think might be able to tackle this exercise. Please do also leave any comments down below with any videos you'd like to see, anything you'd like discussed on this channel. Uh, that's what it's here for. We're here to talk about the things we're all interested in. So let me know what's your curiosity down below and I'll try my best to tackle that. And as always, I hope you're all doing very well, getting plenty of practice in. And I very much look forward to seeing you in the next one. Cheers. Roll up, roll up, let me embed a story you'll never forget. A drip, drip, a drowning in debt now. You can't buy your way out.